Hi everyone, TJ from Avid here, and I am super excited to show you some almost hidden functionality of Mbox Studio. Now, Mbox Studio has four XLR quarter inch combo jacks with switchable 48 volt phantom power. Two on the front of the unit and two on the back of the unit. Normally with an interface like this, it means you can plug four microphones in, but Mbox Studio also has four line inputs on the back of the unit with a whopping 60 dB of digital gain. And that got us thinking. Using some simple basic adapters, can you actually run dynamic microphones into those inputs and use eight microphones with Mbox Studio for condensers and for dynamics? If so, that would make a pretty awesome drum recording rig. And so naturally we had to put it to the test. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take Mbox Studio over to Round Sound Cymbals in Oakland, California. We're gonna set up eight microphones, four condensers, and four dynamics, and see what kind of tones we can get out of this thing. Let's pack this up and hit the road. Okay, so we're here in Oakland. We're almost ready to begin our drum tracking with Mbox Studio, but first let me run you through the microphones that we're using on the kit. We're gonna use a Shure Beta 52A on the kick drum, a Bayer Dynamic M201 on the snare drum, Sennheiser M421s on the toms, Serrano Vintage 87s as overheads, Microtech Gefell UMT70S for our room mic, and on the hi-hat, we have the Josephson C42. As expected, these dynamic mics have plenty of gain on tap. Once I use this very simple adapter, you can get these for 10 to 15 bucks and they'll work no problem with Mbox Studio. Now we are very fortunate today to have the incredible Jason Sloda on the drums. He's gonna play some various grooves for us and we're gonna see what kind of tones we can get out of the Mbox using eight microphones. So without any further ado, here we go. Let's do some tracking. Let's take a closer look at the individual tracks within our session. You can see that we've got nice, clean, strong signals running in through our Mbox Studio, and with a little bit of EQ, volume, and pan adjustments and nothing else, here's what those drums sound like individually. Let's start off with our snare drum, which is running in through line six on Mbox Studio. Now let's check out our kick drum, which is running in through line five on Mbox Studio. And now let's listen to our hi-hats, which are running in through line two on Mbox Studio. And because it's a condenser mic, they're taking advantage of that 48 volt phantom power. Now let's check out our toms, which are running into lines seven and eight on Mbox Studio. And 
And last but certainly not least, let's listen to our room and two overheads, which are also taking advantage of that 48 volt phantom power as their condensers. And they're running into lines one, three, and four on Mbox Studio. So, can the Mbox Studio handle eight microphones, four condensers, and four dynamics? The answer is definitively yes, it can. Even with those XLR to quarter inch adapters, I was still able to coax plenty of gain out of the microphones and everything came in nice and strong and I had tons of headroom left over. If you wanna learn more about Mbox, make sure that you check out the Mbox page on avid.com. We have some other tutorials there for you to look at. As always, thank you so much for joining us and we will catch you on the next one.